Yesterday, we finished reading our story, The Boyhood of Abraham Lincoln, um, on page 96 and 97. And we answered the do you know questions on page 100. Are you okay? Okay. On page 100, and we had to stop because we had a, a little disruption, an emergency that Miss Elliot had to take care of, and we had to stop. But we want to come back and revisit because we have an activity that I think you all are going to enjoy that I want you all to do. Um, so yesterday we talked about Abraham Lincoln. What did we learn about him? Menaja? That he grew, he grew up poor. He grew up poor. Yes, he did. Franklin? He loved to read books. He loved to read books. How do we know that? What did it tell us about him reading books? Look on page 98 and 99. What did it say? Look at the top of page 99. Yes. Yeah. Oh, go ahead. He carried the Bible in his pocket. It said that he uh, would always take a book from his pocket and read it. The Bible was one that he carried with him, but he also carried other books. Yes, sir. He loved the Bible and the others. Okay. He loved the Bible more. Um, what was something that we learned about him as far as his character? Who he was. Remember we talked about the fruits of the spirit? What was something that we learned about his character? What type of person he was? What did it, it, shared, it shared a story with us. Do you remember, Franklin? He was honest. He was honest. What was the story that it mentioned? How do we know? What did he do that was so... Oh. Go ahead. Oh. He, would, he would turn the person back to... Um, Okay, I don't know if the lady was poor and if she was old, <laughs> but it did say that he walked three miles just to return the monies back to a woman because he had overcharged her six cents and he wanted to make sure that he gave that money back to her. So that speaks volumes about who he was as a person, his character. And we talked about who he was as a president and all that yesterday. So I have a question for you. Do you think Abraham Lincoln knew who he was in God? Yeah. How would you know? How? Do, what would make you think that? So be, you're saying that he knew who he was in God because he was an individual of character, integrity. He was honest. He looked out for people. So in order to do that, we must love God, right? And we must know that he loves us to be an honest person. Anything else? Anything else? What did he do? What did he read? The Bible. He read the Bible. What is the Bible? God's word. God's word. God's holy word. Do you think the Bible lets us know who we are? Yes. What did we read yesterday in Psalm 139, 14? Y'all remember that scripture? God. And you listened to the video? There was somebody talking. About fearfully and wonderfully made. That's it. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. How would you know that if you didn't read his word? We don't. You don't. Well, you have teachers like me to teach you that, right? But you need to find out the word for yourself. And the best way to do that is to read it, to study it, to go to church, to go to Sunday school, to go to Bible study, to let leaders teach you what it is that you need to do. All right, so with that being said, oh, one thing, Abraham Lincoln, you told us he grew up poor. But what did he become? The 16th, president. The, 16th the 16th president of the United States of America. Did that matter, him being poor? Did that affect who he became? Absolutely not. And we have to remember that. It doesn't matter if there's something that you feel like is a setback or that is different from other people. It does not play a role in who God has created you to be. He grew up poor. It said his bed was made of leaves. He lived in a little log cabin. He slept up in an attic. He had to work, but he became the 16th president of the United States of America. So that lets us know that we can do what? All, All things through Christ, Christ Jesus, Jesus who strengthens us. 
Alright, so the fun part comes. Close the book. Here's the fun. Alright. I have. Do -do -do. What does this look like? What is this? It's a picture of me. Yes. It's a picture. This is an I Am collage. And I made this because sometimes I have to remind myself of who I am in God. And so it says, I am confident. Right. I put beautiful, bright, you see that? <laughs> Inspired, friendly, driven, passionate, um, powerful. powerful. Look at this one. Beautifully flawed. What does that mean? Um, strong. What's flawed? If I say I bought a shirt at the store, but it was flawed a little because it had a spot on it. It's beautiful, but not perfect. Oh. Beautiful, but not perfect. Is anybody perfect? No. Who is perfect? God. God. We serve a perfect God. We're imperfect people who serve a perfect God. But this is a reminder to myself that I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Do y'all see the shirt that I have on? What does it say? Quit. Quit. Do you know who made that shirt? You. You're right. You already know. Because Anajan, she already knows that Miss Elliot has an inspirational T line because she has. Yeah, I gave her one of my youth shirts, the Fly Girl, Forever Love Yourself, that has the fearfully and wonderfully made on there. So look today. What does my shirt say? More than a conqueror. More than a conqueror. This is my signature statement. Um, yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. I keep have to remind myself of who I am in Christ. To know that I'm fearfully wonderfully made. I'm more than a conqueror. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Do y'all want to make one of these? Yes. Uh -huh. All right. So remember I snuck and took your pictures the other day? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. hey. <laughs> your pictures because mm -hmm. I didn't tell you why we were going to do it, but I want you to take your picture and I'm going to let you pick some um, card stock. I have it over here on the table. I'm going to give you stickers, buttons, all kinds of different stuff, glue sets, and I want you to go through some magazines and I'll help you and I want you to pick out and find words. See how I did? All these were words that I found in a magazine. Yes, and I want you to put on there what is special about you. What's something about you? Tell me one thing about you, an adjective. Um. Anything. Right. You're bright. Mm -hmm. You're artistic. You're a very good drawer. What about you? I'm kind. Kind. You're very kind. I know something. He's athletic. Mm -hmm. He plays a lot of sports. So I want you to put those things on this I Am collage, okay? Because I want this to be a reminder. And then when you're done with this, I want you to take this somewhere at home, on your refrigerator, on your mirror, somewhere on your door, and ask your parents, can you paste this? Because I want you to remind yourself every day of who you are in Christ. I am beautiful. I am fearfully wonderfully made. Can we do that? Yeah. All right, so let's pass out your pictures. <laughs> Right. And then I'm going to get your colors. Tell me what color paper you want. What color? Anija. What color would you like, darling? She like pink. Dark pink, light pink. Dark. All right. Franklin, how about you? Thank you, Mr. Franklin wants white. Is white in this stack? No. Is it? Oh, that's an all white, like a cream. Okay. What about you, Zane? Red. Zane wants red. All right. Which red? We have this bright red and deep red. The bright red. All right. So what we're going to do, let's move your journals because remember we're going to write um, in our journals too. I explained that to you after we do our I am boards. Then I want you to write in your journal about who you want to be when you grow up and how you're going to achieve that. Okay. So I'll talk to you a little bit about that more. But we're going to do our I am board. So do you see how I cut my picture out? Yes. You can cut your picture out. You don't even have to have this whole paper. You just want to do your face. However, I want you to design this the way you like it, okay? What do you need? Scissors? We'll get you some. I'll get you some. Um, do you all have blue? I have blue sticks, too. I have blue sticks. And let me give you your stickers. Here's some different stickers that you can use. Ooh, um, like some of these have words these on them. Yeah. I like these. All right. Can well, you can share it good, Anaja. And then, 
Let's get the magazines, and I pulled some out for you. If you look inside of these magazines, um, some of these are business magazines too, so those are good. Some of these are the youth magazines.